What's up everybody? Griever and Arlene here and we're just gonna have a fun day in the shop today. We we had ideas that kind of fell through because people forgot things. I'm sorry it's y'all already know the gripes. I've complained enough already in our last update video but things are getting rectified. Yay. Uh, but yeah no I, I dropped the ball. Forgot a few things at my apartment because I'm in the middle of packing so they're packed yeah. away and they're safe. Well, that's good then. Yes. So we'll get to. So uh, we decided to go for little prants through Home Depot and got quite a little bit of inspiration. Yeah. And, and also the we went through the project list. So to yes, see. I forced them to make a project list over a year ago. Actually, two to three years ago now, and he keeps buying new things and doing new projects, which I know is great for the nerfing community, always having the most updated stuff, but when you have a list of about 20 different in-progress projects... It's I'm not It's not 20 things. Maybe 15. Do you, want, do you want me to count them? No. Because you know I'll be right? Maybe. And 20 is generous? Maybe. Sorry, I've been scolding him all day. It's hot, it's May, yes. it shouldn't be this humid. Uh, but it, it's a good day to get some painting done, so we figured we're going to have a fun little day of just doing some small projects, little little things that have been floating around for quite a long time, and just throwing them together because they're going to be fun. So these are going to be prop build type of things, and one of them is Arlene got this lantern light a long time ago. Long time ago. It was just kind of a throwaway product that someone else just kind of yeah, shaped. Yeah, and it's one of those lanterns that you pull up and you get, like, the center light thing that when you pull it open and forget and go, oh, God! It blinds the crap out of you. And we instantly thought it in... I, I had been knocking around the idea of, like, this would make kind of, like, a good, like, almost nuclear battery type of thing, so... Figured maybe a fresh coat of paint on the outside of this for this glass we actually did find a transparent fluorescent nuclear green it, it's i don't know if the camera picks it up that that's like sickly green yeah that is like a that is a <laughs> nuclear green so we saw this during our prints through home depot and we're like we can finally get this project done and yeah and also since we have the cricket uh maybe do a little bit not that cricket <laughs> <laughs> But that is what that we are going to try and also with the big shock replicate the uh, MIB, cricket, the MIB cricket. cricket. Yes, but no, with the actual cricket cutter, uh, maybe do some not stenciling, but a couple of decals for this, like you know, with like a radiation symbol stuff like that and all, and also work on a noisy cricket, which would be kind of a pseudo replacement sort of to what we were going to do today so Arlene can kind of get the basics of sanding painting kind of stuff on that Yeah, because obviously I need more practice as we saw in my first attempt not a bad first attempt no no it was good but you know just keep doing it practice makes perfect yeah. so so I'm so the big shock is going to go non-functional because we're going to wind up pulling out the plunger tube we're also going to be blocking up the main barrel so that it looks like the noisy cricket yeah so but i i already have a suit so probably for my easy office halloween go-to will be of men in black especially now that women are in the men in black series. see there you go <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be it, it's just gonna be a fun little afternoon since the last time we worked was a couple of months ago and and because most of this is paint job yeah. Take advantage of the weather. While yeah, weather. exactly, because usually whenever we start planning stuff out, weather always winds up taking a turn, but it stayed nice, so we're going to go for it. So, so yeah, uh, hope you guys en enjoy this fun little ride with us. Yeah, it's not going to be too much of an explanation video, just kind of like us working, but we'll explain stuff as we go like we normally do. But like that, yeah. That's the reason why we started this channel, is because this is something we enjoy doing, Yes. and I think it's time we do something it's just for fun, not for you know, yeah. content, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's all going to be content, but this <laughs> is just going to be fun stuff. So we hope you enjoy the uh, little day with us. Yeah. So. Let's get started. Yep. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just prepping this thing for... 
paint and just kind of fix it up a little bit. Uh, the top has already been sanded off and you can already see it went very, very dull. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a sand over this whole thing and we're actually going to wind up repainting the gunmetal, which is a, it kind of already is. Uh, what I'm working on though is just getting rid of the little areas where the handle was and I'm just using my Dremel for that with a sanding drum and it's honestly it's the easiest way to do it so that's where it is and I'll show you what this looks like in a few. Arlene is actually looking for some uh, radiation warning logos to actually put on the Cricut so yeah just a little update on what where we're at so we also kind of just started so yeah. Okay, so we're now on to sanding said uh, pieces for the radioactive battery thing. I am sanding the actual housing. Arlene is doing some light sanding on the uh, glass that goes around the actual like flashlight part of it. This because way it has something to adhere yeah, to. Yeah, it's something I grab onto. So. All right, that's done. <laughs> Literally, very light sanding. Yeah, it's just Doesn't... a light sanding, because it's... The paint is... I thought it'd be a little bit more transparent, but it's kind of opaque. But it's going to work for what we want, because it will diffuse the light very nicely. Yeah, and we... Like we said uh, in our intro, that light is extremely bright. Yes. It is overwhelmingly bright. Uh, so the, it'll definitely still be able to show through quite nicely, I think. All right, so I'm going to go outside and paint. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, first doing the inside, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you want to take the outside off so that it doesn't get painted? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, so right now we have started the painting process i've put some black vinyl dye over it just to make sure the gunmetal is going to take to it nicely arlene was nice enough to sand and paint the uh the Inside, cylinder yeah. the glass of it now we're going to make our radiation label or you guys warning, probably whatever. can't see it on the screen but it's, it's there there you go there you go <laughs> so we are going to be using our official nerfing light and our customs Cricket Explorer Air 2. No, this is not sponsored, but this was a lovely, lovely, lovely gift from my wife. Thank you very much, honey. I love you. She's the best. And I, w I had gotten a sample pack of different uh, Cricket vinyls. So we have this slightly ugly mustard, but this will work for a yellow radiation symbol. So I think it's perfect yep. for, for what we're going for. To canvas, you're not able to see any of this because my... Big ass is blocking it, so I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> I just cut this portion. Okay, so. Uh, measure it. Or did you already measure it? Oh no, I'm gonna. I I can recut it out. Oh, okay. But also, this is why I love having the cutting mat when we have a completely like some flat one again. Beautiful. I'm sorry. Okay, so in order to cut on a Cricut, you need one of these Cricut cutting mats. Now, regardless of whatever project you're doing, whether it's paper, vinyl, uh, cardstock, whatever, you need this in order to hold it when it goes through. So I made a sheet of, it's probably way too wide, but of five by four of the orange vinyl or yellow vinyl. Yeah, it's yellow. Yes, it's yellow. Yeah. So... I'm going to now shrink this down to be the size that I need it. Uh, this little square portion here is basically a 2 by one So since it's a square image, I'm going to go for one by one and then try and center it the best I can once this gets the gunmetal on it. Here we go. 
there we have our radiation symbols. Yay. Can I do the weeding? The what? The weeding? What weeding? Taking this part off. Oh, sure. As you do it. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant the actual, like, trimming thing. Right on. Boom. Yeah, that's Once we're ready, we'll peel the transfer off, and should be good to go. How am I actually going to do this? All right. So, just sprayed this and one straight here. It's not mine, though. Oh. That is a toxic, sickly green. Oh, that does. <laughs> oh, that, that looks like it's giving you uh, radiation already. <laughs> I could feel the rads already rising. Like, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that looks radioactive, definitely. Uh, I hope I don't know if the camera can pick up really fluorescent colors, but that's oh, with the lights on, that's gonna be intense. Yeah. Yay! So nice, quick, and easy project so far. Yeah. <laughs> no, knowing our luck. Um, yeah. But yeah, all right. So we're just gonna wait for the gun metal portion. Uh, to yeah, we just, yeah. Actually, you know, we're gonna. That's gorgeous. Yeah, so hopefully you can see it fairly well. well with the sun glare from the crush door, it's a little hard to tell. But, yeah, it's really nice. It's got a very nice, it's got the nice gun metal. And honestly, with the sanding, it also kind of gave it a weathered feel yeah. to it with completely being yeah. unintentional, which is awesome. A little bit of distress. All right, now yeah. we can put on our little decals that we just printed out. Decals. Huh? Decals. I was going to say stickers, and then I was like, no, decals, I feel like is the more professional term. Hashtag um, decals. <laughs> same thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, and then we can screw it back together. Yeah, we can put it back together and then start working on the next project. Yeah. We'll show everything completed at the end, so we can kind of show off everything that we did do, because who knows, depending on if the, uh, the noisy cricket goes quickly, maybe we'll take a look at something else like very super quick or I don't know yeah no I gotta get home yes I'm only ever here for one day yeah I got a home to manage unfortunately I got I got my own little minion to take care of which y'all have seen in previous videos gotta take care of my little I know. <laughs> All right, uh, why can't your minion be self-sufficient like mine is sitting over there mine doesn't have opposable thumbs Tool we were missing. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd be trying to paint this on by hand somehow and making weird design stencils with uh, with masking tape and all. As a good prop, as a good prop maker should be. <laughs> all right, so it's recording, right? Yeah. Yeah. The mic on. <laughs> yeah, no, mic thing off because that's a separate power supply. Got it. But yeah, so we have the radiation logos on both sides. I'm just going to do, or Arlene, depending on how we want to do it, it's just going to do a little bit of hand detailing on these little ridges right there to make them kind of battery connectors. And then we're going to reassemble this and move on to our next project. So you'll see this when it's all done. Yay! All right. Okay, so we are going to start on project two of the day, the noisy cricket. <laughs> so 
this is going to be one where it's going to be a little bit more labor intensive, but I think it's not going to work out 50 50 in way of working. Yeah. So cause... we decided to, uh, we kind of just scoped and searched around uh, the current workshop and were able to find. A couple of things that will work. We're going to use this old and strike barrel that will actually fill in very nice, will slot very nicely into the mega barrel. I have what was the breach to my Nexus Pro, which I have like four of these now, so I really don't need them. Uh, this is going to slot into this, uh, the barrel Larger itself, barrel. and then trim off this tip of a Wolverine claw that I had lying around. And that's going to be the tip of the needle. The yeah, the noisy cricket needle. <laughs> so. So we're going to start taking the uh, big shock apart, uh, just unscrewing it, and then. Yeah, sanding. sanding it down, and we're going to take out the plunger tube and everything. So, it, like I said before, it's not going to be functional. It makes no sense to keep that in if we're blocking up the barrel. Exactly. So. So yeah, it's going to be a, a basic, fun, just take apart and repaint. And yeah then make some just nice cosmetic changes to it. Yep. Yay. All right. So. Get started. Yep. Well, Arlene is working on some sanding. I am starting on the barrel for the noisy cricket. I cut down this old inner barrel, which actually now fits perfectly in here. What I need to do is I need to knock off the attachment piece on this bit of uh, Nexus Pro breech. And then I just have to trim this down to fit and glue it in here. So the way we're going to wind up doing things is obviously we know this part's going to have to go silver. The inner portion of the Big Shock is actually going to get vinyl dyed black. And I'm going to do this in a black gloss. Whereas the rest of the shell, while Arlene is working on her part, uh, this is going to get the black metal by flat, and then we're going to just go over it with one of the silvers or chromes that I have. So this way it will be very nicely. And also, as a little, Addition. hey, this works. Uh, we have these old light-up pens, which it's a little hard to see, but it does have a very nice blue glow to it. That actually, we found, fits very nicely up here, so... This is going to be our little electronic uh, portion installer or whatnot, so yeah, it'll just be a nice little blue light on the top of it. Which is just really cool because when you do charge up the Noisy Cricket in the movie, it does have a nice little glowing element at the top, so... Yeah, it's it's not going to make the Cricket noise. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have the time to do that. No, it was, but the reason why we kind of fell into it is because, you know, you do have that dip in there that was meant for an extra dart, and it's yeah. like, wait a minute... We have something in our extra light up stuff drawer. <laughs> yeah, in the we might find a use for this eventually. And so. we just did, so yeah. that's awesome. This is why hoarding correctly or just organize your hoard. Yes. That's all I ask is no, hoard, I, for the hoard. For the hoard. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, no. Uh, obviously, make it manageable, but yeah. So we we remembered it. And we're like, we actually know where to find it. Yeah, so I'm going to get back to trimming this stuff up. I think you're doing a little bit more light sanding, or you're I giving up. I think it's that. I, I keep waiting for, like, the dust to settle, and then I see something else that needs to be sanded yeah. more. Like well, just now, just on the Well, thing. that's fine. You know why? Because we've done 220 on here. We still need to do the 400. So. Yay. Now she knows my pain. This is why I didn't want to get into this. That you're in now. Help me. <laughs> Falling down the rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, we've had a fairly productive and fun day. We did. We literally came into this, hey, let's have a workshop day with no plan. And yeah. we've come up with, I think, our two really amazing Re Like builds. prop builds, yeah. Because <laughs> originally it was going to be... Um, Arlene learns how to paint a Nerf pistol, which was going to be her uh, Nightfinder. But as we said earlier, 
it's fine, it's whatever. It actually turned <laughs> into something a little better because we did finish. For, I will say this: for the most part. I'm for the <laughs> Oh yeah, because it's. For the most part, this is finished. So, I'm gonna put in some. I'll put in some nice B-roll here of everything and all. I don't want to blind you. Yeah, Be prepared. So. It is really bright, but yeah, it came out really nice, everything. Like, that looks polished. It does. It looks really good, and I just did a 220 sanding on this, so it looks like the metal is a little roughed up and worn for wear and all that stuff, which really is nice. The only thing we didn't get a chance to do was, I had mentioned earlier, the little kind of nodules at the top i wanted to do like a copper or a gold so it looked like a connection so it was like a plug-in battery but we didn't get to that but that's not a big deal i can always do that at a later date but i still say this is done and that is amazing yay and it's then so pretty and then the noisy cricket from men in black i love that the claw turned into like just the perfect needle point like it was the perfect length yes and oh, the I love the paint job. Great, yes. great choice of paint finish. Thank you. Definitely. And we took the pen, we painted it as well. All I have to do is click it and put it in. I don't know if it shows up on camera. Probably not. But it does glow blue, much like the actual device does in the movie. And it just sits yeah. right in and there. And it's, so it's a very nice, subtle one because it's you get a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. And it actually does glow out the front as well, which is really cool. <laughs> it's a cool, and it's an easy yeah. on and off switch for us as well. And also it fits in just nicely enough that you don't have to glue it, because honestly it would be a pain to really kind of do it. Yeah. So, and also if you need to change the batteries out, it's easy to do that. I know. It's, so. This came out so much better than I had expected, and yeah. super easy. Yeah. Like, again, honestly, we just kind of rummaged the shop and... Yeah, honestly, the hardest part about it was honestly finding the materials to do that, which thankfully worked out really good, really well. Yeah, just, uh, we did need to dremel out a little bit the... Yeah, I did have to dremel out the front end of that breach because... We want to make sure the needle was actually... Long enough, because <laughs> if my original thought was just kind of put it in the back and slot it out front, but that didn't work, so I wound up just dremeling it out, and it's really... Honestly, nice the seal. entire barrel is all friction fit pieces. The this part just slots into the original mega barrel. The breech slots into the inner barrel with just a little bit of electrical tape towards the back end of it. And then the claw piece just slots into the breech with friction from the dremeling. Yeah. So I say two prop builds, yeah. unexpected, done, very professionally done. <laughs> I'm That's gonna, I'm gonna go and use that word. We usually are amateur hour, but yeah. these, these, I have to say, yeah, I these are love. really nice. And this again was something I had bounced around my head for a while with what to do with this, and I'm just really happy with how well it really did come out. So. It's, yeah. So we hope you guys enjoyed this content. So. Thank you very much for joining us for this video, and as always, if you enjoy the content we put here, please throw us a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, let us know how you think these props came out, and if you actually enjoyed this little just fun day in the shop where we just randomly came up with something, let, let us know, because we'll definitely be willing to do it again, so, and ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know what we're doing our silliness here yes, on the channel. Yes, please, we, every little bit of viewership yes. helps tremendously yes. to... Keep yeah. us going. Yeah. So, <laughs> again, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Okay. Later.